Okay, this is your gentleman B970 from London. And I hope everybody in YouTube lads is having a great time. Obviously, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, uh, to Sly Silk, Silk Sly from America, bass player. Don't I haven't forgotten about that. It's just that I haven't got my mojo together. <clears throat> but anyway, this is a completely different video from doing bass, but it's something to do about music in terms of musicians and stuff. And so when I do this video, I'm actually going to title this video B970 V Jamaraquai. Now, obviously, a lot of people on the internet will flag the video kind of thing straight away to say that B970, you know, we're not going to go for all this Jamara Quiet stuff again about you being as good as Stuart Zender or Paul Turner or any of that stuff, you know. And uh, so it's not one of those kind of videos about the music. Uh, so this is going out to JK now. This is B970 V JK. So what it is to JK is that I can't drive and, you know, I'm not really good at cars. And so we know JK really likes his cars. Well, I didn't know until this year that I like bikes. So this is why it's B970 v JK. So as we know, JK has a lot of cars, and I didn't know that I had a lot of bikes until recently. So we're just going to go through some of the bikes that I've got at this moment. So you can see you know, that I've got these bikes here, guys. These are some of the bikes that I ride around town. Uh, someone's going to be lucky tonight because they'll be giving a donation of one of these bikes to people. So you can actually see some of my bikes here. And this is why this video is called B970 uh, the Jamaraquai. Just zoom in here a little bit. So Jamaraquai, JK, you know, can see these kind of legs. So we zoom into there. And you can actually see that bike. So that's another first on the internet. Um, the world's first fold up Rolls Royce. Um, I just want to make a joke a little bit about that because if we zoom in again, it is in fact a Bickerton bike, Rolls Royce. But they are just uh, stickers. So it's not a real Rolls Royce, but um, when I put the stickers on and went round town, people really did think that this was an actual real Rolls Royce fold up bike. So if people are really into bikes and stuff, or even Rolls Royce, if they see this video, they might get into the idea of making a Rolls Royce bike because this is the very first one even though it's just the retro uh, with the stickers. Rolls Royce. You see that? You know, and uh, going to Slice Silk and those kind of guys, you know, you know what it's kind of like there. And uh, this bike here, again, is a Mercedes. It's not a real Mercedes, it's just that I've done it up to make it look like a Mercedes. And um, that's my main bike there, guys. Um, not a great ride. I'm not really going to go into how well these bikes actually ride. But this is a beast of a bike to ride. And uh, it doesn't really go uphill properly. And this is now we're going downhill a bit, but it's still quite high. So that's my turn bike. And um, uh, this is more of a European bike, more in Germany and Holland. So if there's people in Holland out there in Germany, uh, there's an English guy, Englishman. The Dutch bike, Rolls Royce, and Mercedes. That's another German bike. Keep forgetting that. I've uh, got a donation bike, and then finally we go right down to average bikes here. And this is a marine bike. It's like a road bike, which was really my main bike for a long time. Actually, it's a bike that I swapped out. I had a track before this, and I swapped this out. Really nice person that did this for me to swap this bike out. So that was my main bike, and I went through a few pro problems with bikes. Before I knew it, I had a whole haul of different bikes here, guys. So you can see these bikes here. We're not going to go through all the details of what they do. Um, we can do one example. We do one example of what some of the bikes can do. That's if it works. Again, to JK and those guys. This is B970 VJK. So you just saw the back light go on now. And. Uh, We've got remote control light in here, that's, there's no cables, We've got indicator, indicator, so that's all happening, remote control, so we just go through, through some of the features on the bikes, not all the features, because the video will be too long, it's just going into the idea about 
B970 VJK. In the garage. I hope JK sees this video and goes, well, it's a good try. But uh, again, I can't drive a car at all. Um, you know, so um, all of these bikes are passive. This bike here could possibly be upgraded into a electric bike. It's just that it's so heavy that um, that's where you get the uh, uh, transgression on the bike. Um, and so what it means is that if you're just an average cyclist, um, this is not going to be the thing for you. This is really for someone, if you imagine that someone wanted to go out and buy a Bugatti car or someone like Jamaraguay, he went about go out and buy a supercar. Well, his bike is kind of like, like that. So it means that with a really expensive car, it doesn't like like 100 gallons a mile. So the Da Vinci gear system is really like that. You have to put so much energy because uh, the actual transmission is so heavy. But if you're a really good rider like Chris Hoy or Bradley Wiggins or those kind of guys, then you can start to negotiate in the weight. So it's not to do about the, the gears being inefficient. It's more to do about the actual weight of the gear uh, on that bike. And uh, this just got standard uh, transmission. The turn will probably end up getting an in internal hub of what it belongs at the moment. It's just on the free wheel. But that comes with an internal hull, and that's really well won on the turn. And the other bikes are just, just normal uh, derailed gear systems. So, Jamal Rukwai, this is B970, your gentleman from London, and this is B970 BJK. I know he's going to win, but at least I've tried. So, thank you. And Silk Sly, Sly Silk, and those guys. After I've done this video, I think I'll be able to get my mojo back and, uh, and start doing that bass lesson about Bernard Edwards. So thanks guys, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you. Bikes are not set up for it, they just fall apart at that spec. So Jamaraquai, guys out there, the base community, base chat, Scott's Space Lessons, Silk Slice, Slice Silk from America. Everybody out there, this is my competition. JK, B970, VJK, in the garage. Thank you. Video is B970, V Jamaraquai. So the next shout out I'd like to shout out is uh, Jamaraquai and JK. So hello JK, I hope you see the video. Obviously I want to give a shout out to Scott Space Lessons, I haven't forgotten Scott, it's just a, it was really weird when I saw you that time uh, quite a while ago and then wow, and I was saying that we don't know what's around the corner in 2020 and it just happened. So that's just like, oh my god, that was just, oh wow. So hello Scott, you know, I'm still okay. Um, this is not a Stardust video, you know, you know when you get the crazy actor saying, you know, I could have been a contender. So no, this is still going on, we'll be doing bass after this video. This is like a video to get me into doing the bass, actually. And when we talk about bass, I said it's a uh, silk slide. We're going to... Okay, this is your gentleman B970 from London. And I hope everybody in YouTube land is really doing well. Right at the beginning of the video, um, I'd like to um, you know, still give a shout out to uh, Sly Silk, Silk Sly, bass player, guitarist. I haven't forgotten. It's just that my mojo's not good. I thought I'd do a video like this, and this might pick my mojo up a little, little bit. Um, you know, in that sense. So, uh, the title of this video is uh, B970 V Jamaraguay. So, the title of this video competition, because what it is, is that we all know that JK likes cars. So, this is my competition. You know, hello JK, this is my, <laughs> this is my competition of bikes V your cars. Because I can't drive, I'm not really into cars, don't really like cars too much, so I've got a bike. And now you can kind of see my kind of mini collection of bikes here as we go along. It's not as I was collecting bikes and stuff like that until the story out. It kind of happened in a way. So at least JK knows that what the competition is all about now. So um, for the guys out there.
Mercedes Benz bike because it really does look like a real Mercedes bike. So that's the second bike there, Rolls Royce Mercedes. Then we go downhill a little bit. This is more standard. This is a turn bike. These bikes are really big in Germany and Holland. So there's people out in, in Holland. Hello, this is an Englishman, English uh, guy. And these bikes are quite big uh, in those areas. So that's like a European bike. But then when we think about it, we have the Mercedes here. And you know, obviously that's German, so we have to go German after rather than before. He's got some kind of all of these bikes are average in that sense of the uh, equipment. He's got average tires and pressures. So I think there is another forum about air pressure for bikes. And um, after the reason the forum, I kind of got it. Because I really was a bare minimum of 100 psi on every bike. And what it is, it's all to know about efficiency. And making sure your bike just doesn't rattle people to pieces. Some bikes are not set up for it, they just fall apart. And that's bad. So it's Marakai. Guys out there, space community, space chat. It's got space in the space of life, so I still quit America. Everybody out there, this is my competition. JK. B970. VJK. In the garage. Thank you. That's another baseline that I'm going to look at, guys. I'm going to look at the baseline automaton because there's not many people on the internet playing this baseline, and we're going to use it as a bass lesson so people can learn about harmony. Automaton, let's do a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm lost. Can't you feel me, John? Kissed. I'm a robot. Can't you feel me? Yeah, so we got that, JK.